my mistake. So the website, um, I'm pleased with it. It's it's progressing, and so right now it's still being populated by with uh, old video and commentary. Uh, but I'm already setting up the appointments for for new video, and so uh, Lori Way, who is our local representative to the Sick Coalition, has agreed to be interviewed. Lori um, <clears throat> twice attended. Uh, briefings at the White House, uh, attended training in Washington, D.C. Uh, she's been very active in the community. She uh, had a community sick education conference here that was attended uh, by people in um, Northeast Indiana and uh, Southern Michigan. She uh, has been involved in um, days of, of service, uh, memorial services. She's written articles. She's had, uh, she's uploaded video. Uh, she attends uh, both Gurdwaras and uh, is highly respected by the community. So I, I look forward to, to interviewing uh, Lori. Uh, Dr. Adam DeVille, who's the chair of the Department of Theology and Philosophy at the University of St. Francis, uh, is also uh, an author, an editor, and uh, an expert, and, and, and a recognized international expert on um, the relationship and, and possible reconciliation of the Eastern and Western churches. And uh, and he has agreed to be interviewed, and there's just so many different topics that, that he could easily talk about. Uh, I'm uh, confident that we can interview Reverend Terry Anderson, who uh, is uh, in the director of the Interfaith Hospitality Organization, but also an a advisor to the mayor of Fort Wayne when it comes to interfaith activities. And so uh, these three uh, alone will be good anchors for the site. Uh, there'll be a number of clergy who I'll be able to uh, interview. And then I'll be going out to the sites. So I've also decided that it makes sense to talk about diversity in a broader um, manner than just faith, even though this is preparing myself for the, the Parliament of the World's Religions. And so that means going out to the, the Burmese, uh, not just the restaurants, but the Burmese and Asian uh, grocery stores here, the Moroccan um, delicatessen. Uh, there are just a number of specialty stores, uh, centers, and activities that I'll, I'll want to attend because um, people are, are holistic. They're, you, know, you can't just reduce them to or compartmentalize them. And so it's not just their religious life, their cultural life, their civic life. Uh, it, it blends together. And so I look forward to, you know, highlighting uh, holidays, festivals, music, uh, articles written by uh, various members of our community. I also, you know, uh, am aware that I titled this Faithing in the Heartland. And the Heartland is bigger than Fort Wayne, Indiana. And so I'll be using... Uh, video and experiences from my sabbatical in Chicago, but also reaching out to, to other people. My Chicago experiences will be focused more on churches than any other house of worship, because my own particular background is that of a, a Roman Catholic secular Franciscan, and uh, I have uh, an affinity. I, I feel a uh, peace when I walk into a, a Catholic church, and and. Uh, and I feel awe when I walk into an Orthodox church. And so uh, you'll, you'll be having those experiences probably uh, more than mosques, Hindu temples, synagogues. Uh, but as the year goes on, I will, uh, I'll make a uh, concerted effort to make sure it's as diverse as possible. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, you sharing your experiences as well. Uh, again, I am uh, pretty darn excited about this. So. Um, as a matter of fact, okay, so this scarf here uh, was a gift from my daughter who attended the Festival of Faiths in Indianapolis this past fall, and uh, it was sort of a, a mini parliament of the world's religions, and so she also uh, brought me back a sick um, turban, only I don't know how to put it on, but I am told by uh, Lori that um, that's going to be taken care of this term, so that I want to actually wear my first turban, and I'm looking forward to that. So, peace and all good. Bye.